For this report, we spoke with Lulawa Kazum, whose life took an unexpected turn when she was involved in a hit-and-run collision that left her physically immobile and in chronic pain. After experiencing a transformation while at a dance retreat, she learned that you can dance with pain, despite your limitations. I had stopped dancing because of pain. Well, at this retreat, I decided that I was going to dance with whatever part of my body could move without pain, and at that time it was just my arms. So I just filled up that space in my arms and got really into it dancing. And within four days, I was tearing up the dance floor. I was leaping and twirling and saying, what the hell just happened, in a good way. And that set me off on a journey. Uh, and I discovered that it was consistent every time that I would dance with the part of my body that was not hurting within as short as a span of an hour, I would completely transform. And that, you know, I then put my journalism skills to use and explored what was going on. And I found out that it made sense given the way that chronic pain works. We asked Lulawa what is taught in her dance classes. I teach people how to transform their relationship to pain. So instead of being victims of pain or instead of fighting their pain, they dance with it. So whatever part of their body moves without pain, they fill up that space with light and love and healing and it expands. And we find it's almost magical that we find that the parts of the body that are in pain begin to respond and the pain lessens. Any kind of pain has been responsive to date to the dancing with pain method. So for example, somebody who had arthritis would come in and say, I can barely move, it hurts. And even if we start off with them just lying on the floor and dancing in their imagination, something transforms. And what I've discovered is that dancing with pain method packs a punch. It has a lot of different elements organically woven through it, like guided imagery, meditation, breath work, uh, positive expectant faith. All these things are happening at the same time. And I have had numerous people come in and say, oh my God, I'm able to move parts of my body I haven't been able to move for years. A few months ago, a woman came to my class and said, I'm just going to observe because my pain is so bad today. And I said, you know what, listen to the class introduction where I explain how it works and then see if you feel comfortable joining. Because in the Dancing with Pain class, you can lie down, you can sit, you can stand, you can dance in your imagination. It's whatever part of the body feels good, even if it's just in the mind. And when she heard that, she said, okay, I'm going to do it. So she sat in a chair. and. I saw about halfway through the class, she started moving like this, and at the end of class, we have a circle where we share the experience. She said, I didn't even realize I had started dancing because it was this organic transformation. We asked Lulawa what reasons doctors give for this method working. Doctors give a number of different reasons for why they think this method works. Um, one of the most interesting explanations I heard was there's a synergistic effect between all the different components that organically weave through the Dancing with Pain method. So there's meditation, there's breath work, there's guided imagery, there's the physical movement, there's the camaraderie and the alchemy of a social support network, there's uh, the positive expectant faith of, you know, I'm someone who has done this and transformed my body and then they see that as a model and believe that it's possible. Cognitive behavioral therapy, adjusting the way that we think about our pain. When it's acute pain, it's in the actual part of the body that's hurting. But when it's chronic pain, it's been going on for months or years, it's no longer there. It's actually in the brain. And by reconceptualizing our relationship to pain and by looking at the parts of our body that move comfortably and filling up that space with light and love and healing and joy, it transforms what our body experiences when we have movement. And in that way, it can lessen the pain dramatically in a very short amount of time. I offer workshops that are both live and through downloadable audio classes, and I'm also happy to travel across the country. The Dancing with Pain website is www.dancingwithpain.com.